Beneath the icy waters of the North Pacific, a silent menace stirs. One capable of unleashing a catastrophe that could rival the deadliest natural disasters in human history. The Aleutian Islands, a remote chain of volcanic peaks stretching between Alaska and Russia, may seem far removed from the world's bustling cities. But hidden beneath their windswept coastlines lies a ticking geological time bomb. A vast subduction zone primed for a megaquake. Scientists warn that this fault line, which has already spawned some of the most powerful earthquakes and tsunamis on record, is dangerously overdue for another rupture. Imagine colossal waves racing across the Pacific, swamping coastlines from Hawaii to Japan, and shaking cities from Anchorage to San Francisco. Could this be the site of the next ocean-wide disaster? And if the signs are so clear, why is no one talking about it? As pressure mounts in the Earth's crust, so too does the urgency to understand the forces at play beneath the Aleutians. Today, let's dive into the Aleutian megaquake and tsunami, an impending disaster that could wipe out the Pacific. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Stretching like a jagged necklace between mainland Alaska and Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula, the Aleutian Islands are far from the minds of most people. Remote, wind-lashed, and sparsely inhabited, they may appear insignificant on a world map, but beneath these volcanic outcroppings lies one of the most powerful and dangerous geological zones on the planet. At the heart of the Aleutians, seismic volatility is the Aleutian Trench, a 2,500 miles long subduction zone where the dense Pacific plate dives beneath the North American plate in a slow, grinding process that has unfolded for millions of years. And with every year that passes, strain builds silently beneath the ocean floor. When that strain eventually exceeds the friction holding the plates in place, it is released violently in the form of a megathrust earthquake. The Aleutian subduction zone is capable of producing some of the most powerful earthquakes known to humanity. This is not mere speculation, it is confirmed by history. From the great 1957 Andreanoff Islands earthquake to the deadly 1946 Unamak Island quake that generated a Pacific-wide tsunami, this region has unleashed devastation before. And yet, much of the subduction zone remains eerily quiet. Seismologists believe that this silence is not reassuring, it is foreboding. The 1946 Aleutian Islands earthquake is a stark reminder of the region's deadly potential. On April 1st, a magnitude 8.6 earthquake struck off the coast of Unamak Island. A lighthouse keeper stationed nearby described hearing an ominous rumble followed by violent shaking. Moments later, a colossal wave struck the coast, obliterating structures and sweeping people into the sea. But the destruction didn't end there. The tsunami raced across the Pacific at 500 miles per hour, reaching Hawaii five hours later. The town of Hilo was hit by waves over 35 feet high, killing 159 people and devastating the harbor. This tragedy marked a turning point in tsunami science, prompting the creation of the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. Yet the same seismic forces that produced the 1946 event remain active today, and other sections of the fault have not ruptured in over a century. This has led experts to suspect that a massive amount of strain is quietly accumulating, setting the stage for a potentially even larger event. Of all the segments along the Aleutian Trench, none has drawn more attention recently than the Shemagan Gap, a 250-kilometer stretch between the Alaska Peninsula and the Central Aleutians. Unlike other portions of the fault that have ruptured in the 20th century, the Shumagan Gap has remained seismically quiet. This silence is precisely what alarms geologists. Research published in recent years using GPS data, seafloor mapping, and satellite imagery suggests that this section of the plate boundary is locked, a term that means the two plates are stuck together rather than sliding smoothly past each other. This locking creates a buildup of tectonic energy, like pulling back a slingshot. Eventually, something has to give. Scientists have modeled a potential rupture of the Shumagan Gap, 
and estimated it could produce a magnitude 8.8 .8 to 9.2 earthquake, equivalent in power to the 2011 Tohoku earthquake in Japan. The resulting tsunami would likely affect not just Alaska, but also Hawaii, the U.S. West Coast, British Columbia, Japan, and potentially even New Zealand and South America. Given the frequency of large events along this trench, roughly every 50 to 100 years, a new megaquake may already be overdue. In a worst-case scenario, the rupture of the Shumagin Gap or another large segment of the Aleutian subduction zone would begin with minutes of violent shaking across southwestern Alaska. While much of the region is sparsely populated, key communities such as Sandpoint, Cold Bay, and Dutch Harbor would be severely affected. The shaking would trigger landslides, collapse buildings, and likely cut off power and communications. But the true danger would follow minutes later as the sea itself reacts. A massive undersea uplift of the ocean floor would displace billions of gallons of water, creating a dome-like surge that collapses outward into powerful tsunami waves. These waves could strike nearby coasts within 10 to 20 minutes, leaving little time for evacuation. Communities along the Alaskan Peninsula would bear the brunt of this immediate impact. Meanwhile, the tsunami would spread outward across the Pacific at jetliner speeds. Hawaii could be hit within four to five hours, while California, Oregon, and Washington might see waves within six to eight hours. Even distant shores like Japan, Papua New Guinea, and Chile could experience tsunamis more than a day later. In major coastal cities like Honolulu, Los Angeles, and Vancouver, emergency sirens would sound as alerts are issued. Ports would be closed, beaches evacuated, low-lying areas might be submerged or flooded for hours. Depending on the size of the rupture and the shape of the ocean floor, wave heights could range from 1 to 20 meters in different locations. The damage could run into the billions of dollars. Modern tsunami science has come a long way since the mid-20th century, thanks to systems like the deep ocean assessment and reporting of tsunami buoys. Scientists can now detect and track tsunami waves in real time. These buoys float far out at sea and measure pressure changes on the ocean floor that indicate the passage of a tsunami wave. Combined with satellite data and seismic monitoring, they allow for accurate predictions of wave arrival times and potential impacts. For the Aleutian Islands, several recent simulations have shown that if a major earthquake occurred in the Shumagin Gap, the resulting tsunami could rival or even exceed the waves seen in 2011 in Japan. One study led by the U.S. Geological Survey estimated that in the most extreme scenario, wave heights in Honolulu could exceed 20 feet in certain harbors, while parts of the Pacific Northwest could see damaging surges more than 15 feet high. Importantly, even moderate scenarios could overwhelm older infrastructure and unprepared communities. Many coastal cities were built long before modern tsunami codes, and despite advances in detection, effective response still relies on public awareness and preparedness. Technology alone cannot stop a tsunami. The real question is whether the people living in its path are ready. In Alaska, Hawaii, and parts of the U.S. West Coast, regular tsunami drills and public education campaigns have increased awareness. Sirens, evacuation routes, and signage are now common in vulnerable areas. But readiness varies. For example, many low-lying parts of Hawaii, such as Waikiki, are highly developed and crowded with tourists, many of whom may not be familiar with evacuation procedures. In California, tsunami awareness is high in places like Crescent City, which was hit by the 1964 tsunami, but lower in others. And in Alaska, Isolated communities often lack the infrastructure to carry out a full-scale evacuation in time. Worse still, many Pacific nations remain under-resourced in their ability to monitor and respond to tsunamis. Islands in the South Pacific, parts of Southeast Asia, and even parts of Latin America could face devastating losses if a Pacific-wide tsunami were to strike without adequate warning or preparation. The Aleutian Islands may be out of sight for most of the world, but they should not be out of mind. 
Beneath their quiet volcanic ridges and icy waters lies a geological time bomb that has been ticking for over a century. When it goes off, and scientists are convinced that it will, it could trigger one of the most devastating natural disasters in modern history. We cannot prevent the Earth from shaking. We cannot stop the sea from rising. But we can prepare. We can learn from history, invest in science, strengthen our warning systems, and educate our communities. The next Aleutian megaquake and tsunami is coming. The only question that remains is whether we'll be ready when it does.